Hello, I am Xander. And I am Andrew. And this is the geological history of California. In the beginning, uh, around 180 million years ago, North Amer uh, the North American plate broke away from the supercontinent of Pangaea and started moving west. As the North American plate moved west, it encountered the Farallon plate. As the two collided, the denser Farallon plate subducted underneath the North American plate. During subduction, the friction from the two plates grinding together caused such high temperatures that the granite that the North American plate is made out of was turned into magma and forced up to the surface through volcanoes. This allowed new igneous rock to form on the surface of modern-day California and neighboring states. As the Farallon plate subducted, the less dense rocks on the top of the plate were scraped off and added to the North American plate. This process is called accretion. These scraped off rocks get smashed from the North American plate and get compressed, adding landmass to the coast of California. The oceanic ridges that had formed in the Pacific Ocean reached the subduction zone between the Farallon and North American plates. They were so massive that they stopped subduction completely and forced, forced the two plates to find a new way to move. Since the two plates needed a new way to move, they started moving side by side. The Farallon slash Pacific plate moving north and the North American plate moving south. This new transform fault is the start of the now famous San Andreas Fault. The subduction of the Farallon plate continued in areas where the ridges had not yet reached the fault. In areas where the San Andreas was already present, the two plates continued to push past each other. While the San Andreas continued to move uninterrupted, northern subduction zones started coming into contact with the oceanic ridges. This caused the subduction to stop in, the, in those places, allowing the San Andreas to grow, moving north. Here is a geological map showing San Francisco and what rocks make up the different regions. Yellow is sand dunes, pink is landfill, and uh, orange is gray rock. As you can see, the city is divided with different rocks or materials making up the landmass. Currently, in San Francisco and the greater Bay Area, you can find many rocks that were created from the process we have just described. Some sedimentary rocks scraped off the oceanic plate from accretion include chert, a reddish brown rock with many easily visible layers. It is, often, is it also often found with clay in between its layers? Gray wacky, a dark gray, sandy textured rock with visible layers and an abundance in the Bay Area. Sandstone, a yellowish or reddish stone with very rough sides. It is easily scratchable and can have visible layers or no layers at all. And lastly, shale, a smooth, flat rock with a dark gray color that has visible layers. Shells often found in very thin sheets. You can also find some igneous rocks formed from magma superheated by the friction of subduction and forced to the surface through volcanoes. Some of these rocks include granite, a rock that was formed from magma that cooled slowly over time, giving it visible crystals and speckles, and occasionally a somewhat a reddish hue. Basalt, or and basalt, which in San Francisco often comes in the form of pillow basalt, a rock that forms in uh, boulders or pillows. Uh, it also has a gray color. Metamorphic rocks can also be found in the Bay Area. Metamorphic rocks are formed when pre-existing rocks are subjected to intense heat and pressure. Some of these rocks include Serpentine, a rock with a distinct green color that sets itself apart from a lot of other rocks.
and slate, a rock derived from shale that was put under a lot of pressure and heat. Okay.